Matthew Mategat, the 4th of April 1910 to February 2001, was a Hungarian French designer and material artist. He was one of the most renowned French designers of the 1950s. Topic: Early years. Mategat was born on the 4th of April 1910 at Tapio Sully, a village about 20 kilometers (12 miles) from Budapest in Hungary. He studied at the School of Fine Arts and Architecture in Budapest between 1925 and 1929. He created sets for the National Theatre. He then traveled in Italy and the United States before settling in France in 1931. There he took jobs that included making sets for the Folies Bergère, window dressing at the Galleries Lafayette, designing women's dresses and, in the late 1930s, creating tapestries. In 1933 he started to create his first examples of rattan furniture mounted on metal frames. Mategat volunteered for the French army at the start of World War II and was taken prisoner, being freed in 1944. As a prisoner, he worked in a plant manufacturing mechanical accessories, where he learned the techniques and potential of sheet metal. After being released he became naturalized as a French citizen. <laughs> <laughs> Furniture designer Following the war, Mategat established a workshop for making handcrafted furniture using a variety of materials such as metal, rattan, glass, formica, and perforated sheet metal. The workshop made chairs, tables, sideboards, desks and other objects that he had designed. At first based in Paris, the workshop later moved to Casablanca. All the furniture and other objects had clever, practical and amusing designs. Distributed to decoration shops in editions of 200, his work was extremely successful. Mategat designed the three legged Nagasaki chair in 1954 and the Copacabana armchair, 1955 1956, both made of steel tube and perforated sheet metal, characteristic materials whose use Mategat pioneered. The Nagasaki chair is now held in the design collection at the Musée des Arts Décoratifs, Paris. The Copacabana armchair is in the design collection at the Centre Georges Pompidou, Beaubourg, Paris. Mategat furnished or decorated buildings such as the Hôtel de France in Conakry, Guinea, the Drugstore Publicis in Paris and the Maison de Lortef in Paris 1962. <laughs> Return to tapestry Mategat continued to work on tapestry while engaged in other design activities, and a 1962 book Le Demure et les éditions des deux mondes présentant les tapisseries de Mathieu Mategat documented some of his more important works to that date. In early 1960s, Mategat left furniture design to devote himself full-time to tapestry work, becoming one of leaders of the modern movement in French tapestry. His tapestries today hang in many major buildings. For example, three of his works are in the National Library of Australia. When the building was opened, the three remarkable tapestries were glowing like jewels in the marble-clad foyer. He was a friend of Jean Lercat. His work used a restrained range of colors in rigorously abstract designs. Mathieu Mategat died at Angers, France in February 2001.